transporter from dispatch. All passengers on board. You can ask for the clearance to take off. Copy that dispatch. This is Hypertext Hero. We're going to start off a passenger mission today. Happy Monday, a new day, a new week. Coming here from a rainy New York City day and uh, quite a cloudy Neofly day as well. the chat test chat system and moved it to the right hand side there see how that looks and let's see if uh, sim toolkit pro will want to join us today go looks like it did all right Overlay here if I wanted to. Although we're we'll using the Neofly one, so we don't have to worry about this one for now. Hey Tim, good morning. <laughs> I like your little high thing. I think that'll be my next emote. It'll be a hello one as well. Eventually. Hope your week is not going to be too busy. Or maybe hope it will be busy and uh, but in a good type of busy, not the stressful type of busy. It's probably going to be a big crash here during the stream because for some reason my, my green screen is feeling a little wobbly. It's feeling a little wobbly today. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning to you. All right, let's see. BN2 Islander 1.1 update. One of my favorite things in this update, I think I've mentioned this, uh, is that these things now, these little wires here, they move from side to side when you fly uh, with gravity. So that's nice. Let's turn the port fuel pump on auxiliary fuel pump and the starboard auxiliary fuel pump on the other day i was reading the bn200 manual when i was in the subway here in new york going somewhere and you know it's amber was like is that interesting and i was like not really it's it's, you know, it's boring but for me it is kind of is because you learn to fly the airplane and and i learned that these auxiliary fuel tanks uh, you have to have them by law um in case like the you have an engine failure and then the the pump that put pumps fuel to the engine fails too and you have no fuel I, you have to have an auxiliary fuel pump if the airplane is like a, a general aviation one I, I don't know what the criteria are but that was an interesting little uh, okay we got the strobe lights out uh, an interesting little um, tidbit of information and Neofly gives you bonuses if you have taxi lights and landing lights on for takeoff. Although here right now, I don't have any particular plan at the moment, but we'll see what happens. Copy that, Tim. I think maybe a plane is going to be one of my prizes. Uh, I haven't decided how I'm going to do this yet. I'm going to do it when I come back from a trip to Seattle. That's going to happen next week. And I'm going to have prizes, and I think one of them will be a Microsoft Flight Simulator airplane. I have to talk to the people who make a couple of the airplanes I like and uh and see uh how that goes i don't think i even need the instrument lights now this nice little light over there all right uh i think we're pretty we're doing pretty good strobe lights let's put them on cabin lights uh th does that even work oh look at that they let the lights turn on okay 
I don't need to turn them on though. Nav lights, yes please. And taxi lights, let's, let's turn all this stuff on. So that our airplane is all lit up. At night, the lighting has been updated too for the BN calendar of the latest update. Alright, let's go. We're going to do a flight to... Uh, I mean, technically the stream is going to start in a minute still. We're going to do a flight to... Uh, let's see... Uh, Egom, Echo Golf, Oscar Mike starting at Echo Golf... Romeo Lima, we're taking some passengers over there, so we're gonna take a bearing of. Uh, oh, I, I forget, I can see this in, in Neopad now. Let's see. Here's Neopad, let me move it up. Oh, well, I can leave it over here because uh, I can move it down once you take off. I can click on this icon here to change the satellite view. And see, it helpfully gives you the bearing right there, so I don't have to guess it. Although it's nice to be able to, to, to get to try guessing it because it's good practice. Bearing 245, we'll take off and go 245. It's only 24 nautical miles away. And then I'm going to start moving south because I want to show you something in the south of England later. Let's switch here now to the regular stream. And uh, let me move the Neopad down over there, maybe. All right, two, four, five, and uh, let's go. Stand by. All right, getting my bearings here. Uh, parking brake is off already. Flaps. Let's put them to takeoff position. Takeoff position. Cross check. Yep, that looks good. Full power. Thank you, dispatch. Uh, I'll do my best. I think at two, four, five, we're basically right. We're just taking off and going, going straight out here. Flaps up. Auxiliary fuel pump for starport engine off and starboard engine off. Everything's looking nominal over here. And look at these things, they're pretty cool, look, they move now. It's very light, but, but it makes a difference. These little touches, you know, this thing here. Look at that, it moves. These little touches are, are what really make an airplane special. Okay, let's go to 245. I have three airplanes I bought now from Microsoft Flight Simulator. The Spitfire, this BN2 Islander. And the uh, and the uh, PT seventeen Steerman flight World War Two old school biplane flight trainer. All right, we're on a good track there. Let's uh, get the mixture down a little bit here. So we see those little, these things come down. There you go. Oh, now cut down quite a bit. Jeez, look at that. I mean, 20%, very, very few efficient aeroplane, this thing. A very few efficient aeroplane. It 
Sound needs work on this plane. They're hiring a wise sound engineer. The uh, black box simulations. And today, this morning, I'm going to do some flights of this. And then we're going to uh, switch back to War Thunder, maybe to some IL-2 Sturmovik. And now that DCS has uh, has this excellent promotion that you, you can you can uh, try any airplane for 14 days every six months for free and any map. I want to try. I'm going to jump into the F-16, I think. Maybe the Yak. And we're going to be flying some uh, DCS, some jets. Yeah. Of the upcoming Top Gun 2 with Tom Cruise and Maverick coming back into the cinemas, into, into digital screens everywhere here. We're going to have to, we're, we're going to need, have the need for speed, baby. We're going to need that jet speed. And so I better get practicing. I, be, I better get into one of those DCS airplanes. There's no flight simulator better than getting in, into a jet than DCS. Maybe War Thunder, the, jet, the Jets look cool in War Thunder. War Thunder has great sound too, as does DCS, but uh, I'm grinding for those Jets. I have a long way to go to get a Jet in War Thunder, unless I, I, I pull out my wallet and I, and I throw cash at them, you know? But I'm gonna try to do it without doing that. I'm gonna try to do, uh, try to do, uh, do the grinding and the, stay with the three to play. Really a wonderful, pretty airplane. There it is, the BN2 Islander. I could turn turn off the landing lights now. Maybe, maybe, maybe that'll be a good idea. Let's see. You get but you get bonuses in NeoFly by turning on uh, by turning on uh, strobe lights before t but strobe or navigation lights before turning on a strobe or beacon light before you turn on the engine, and then uh, taxi light before you taxi and landing light before you take off and land. You get bonuses if you do that. that isn't that interesting? And I saw that in the manual recently. I didn't know that. Probably not a huge bonus, but it's nice that it keeps track of all that stuff. It's it's nice that Microsoft Flight Simulator gives you this this uh, interface that that uh, leave it up here there. Okay, maybe that's not put it there because then uh, oh that's fine. It's it stays behind the little thing there. That's fine. Interesting, I could hide it behind that vertical speed there and uh, that's provided by Sim Toolkit Pro. We're drifting a little bit, catch my drift. You know the word catch my drift, is a, it comes from, you know, sailing. When you're sailing in a particular direction and then there's a crosswind coming and you keep like going off course. That's called drifting, and then you have to kind of crab into the wind with the sailing boat. And then the airplanes, you know, they're, they're affected by wind too. So it's the same uh, it's the same thing. You have to catch the drift and you have to correct it. And um, right now, we're, we're doing all right. We're right, almost right on the course there, about halfway there. Arrival Metar, we're gonna have a uh, uh, 14 knot wind coming from 260, according to this. So 260 is uh, basically the direction we're flying in, almost. It's gonna be a, a west a westerly wind, okay. 
So that's the direction we're going to want to land on. This is I'm taking some passengers here, and they're probably I think they're I think I think it's a heliport we're going to land at. Where's the island? There she is. Pretty airplane. Let's keep an eye on the airspeed. I don't want to go far into that uh, yellow at all because I've cra I had a couple of crashes already. Three crashes of this plane that I didn't think I was far into the prohibited uh, airframe uh, damaging speed and I was wrong and it was a very expensive uh, mistake. Wild Craze, hello, good morning. I'm not wild or crazy right now, but it's Monday, you know, maybe things will change a little later. We're War Thunder, or if I lose this BN2 Islander again. It's a good day. I like your color of your of your uh, text. Nice, uh, nice bright uh, yellow there. Let's see how far are we from this landing zone. We're pretty close, I think. We're approaching it already. And it is an airport. It looks like a heliport, but it had like this long, very narrow road, which I guess is a, is a landing strip. Let me get my posture up here. There you go. That's better. I'm gonna have to get track how you are to... Uh... Whoa, what's happened? Alright, track IR is getting a little crazy here. I think I lost track IR. Did it crash? Stand by. Uh oh. I think I just lost track IR. What's going on? Uh-oh, that's not good. Oh, there. Did I pick it up? It's getting confused. Okay, star sorry about that. Give me one second. Getting confused here. Let's leave you with that view for a bit. Let's try that. Let's try that. There you go. It's back. Okay. All right, we're almost there. Oh, what was your computer? I hear a ding and was trying to figure out what app caused it. Yeah, that was my computer. <laughs> Sorry, Tim. <laughs> I do that too. Sometimes I'm watching someone stream and their computer makes a noise and I'm like, did something go wrong? You know, and, and then I check, you know, or the inst the airplane even. So I check the instruments, you know, pretend this is a computer here. There's a little computer over here. It's this thing. It's a Garmin GNS 530, more old school autopilot. I'm gonna, I haven't even tried to use it yet. Maybe I should do a long, a uh, short, a uh, haul, a long haul or short haul trip. There you go. That's where we're gonna land. And I think that's the runway. The, the rest is, I see, heliports. But uh, yeah, sometimes, you know, I get confused. <laughs> With all this broadcasting stuff, you know, you... I don't think there's going to be a tower in this airport, but who knows? Let's check it out. Uh, nearest airport list. Uh... Oh, it's an RAF base. Spade, uh, Spade, RAF Spade, Adam, Echo Golf, Oscar, Mike. Okay, I think it's gonna be. Where's the wind coming from? The wind's coming from 270, so we're gonna go for 12. Announce full stop landing. There is uh, no. Uh, Oscar Mike traffic hypertext hero one two miles northeast two thousand feet inbound to land runway one two. Oh weird, and I see, and I hear a real airplane flying here in New York City right now outside. And I thought it's like, is, is this in the plane in the game? All right, so we are going to land. We ch we checked the METAR of Neopad there. Wind is coming from, uh, I think, 270 or something. Two, 290, so uh, 
we're just gonna come in. Oh, that, that looks like an old runway over there. Disuse now, maybe a World War II airfield. But uh, the one we're gonna land at is right here. All right. Let's take a look out the window. Let me uh, disable the preview there to get a few more frames. I think, yeah, that's that's the runway right there. That thing, I think it's it's a heliport, it's a helicopter thing, but I think that's a very short runway there. Can you see? And there, there's the windsock. Okay. Pretty airplane. All right, uh, auxiliary fuel pump for starboard engine activated for uh, for port engine and for starboard as well. Let's turn on the landing light so that we get the bonus. All right. And let's put the flaps uh, to all the way down for landing. Get ready for to trim the nose uh, pitch up result, resulting from the flaps. Made me think of Twin Otter until I read up on things. Yeah, the Twin Otter. I hear a lot about that plane. I'm not very familiar with it, but this plane, I love this plane. I flew in this plane when I was a kid. A BN2 Islander. It's, it's really a lovely, beautiful airplane. And I'm a huge fan of this airplane, so I'm very happy that it's uh, that it's uh, it's available now for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Look at this nice little farmhouse over there by the river. What a privilege to be living in another flight simulator era and being able to fly these wonderful airplanes here. I've lost track of where the place is. I think it's over this behind this forest here let's open up our neopad again and take a look uh yep uh i should get i should get a little bit higher probably there you go that's good yeah it's around there oh shit my mixture my mixture that's what that's why i'm losing power forgot about the mixture <laughs> You know, I'm an amateur with these, uh, t with this twin airplanes. Uh, I, was, I was totally losing engine power. Let's put a takeoff flaps because I'm, the wind is really hitting her now. I was totally losing power there because my mixture was, uh, I forgot to, to put it to full. All right, there, there it is. There it is. Okay. Get a bit higher here on the cockpit and take a look. I'm still confused by the. I think it's that runway there. Okay, that's the runway. It's a very. Th it, I think it used. It was like a road or a taxiway, and basically they said, "Okay, this is the runway." Okay, now let's put the flaps down. Flaps are down. Cross check. Uh, yeah, we're doing good. Yeah, classic airplane made in England in the Isle of Wight. That was where it was designed and made for a while. And then now it's made in Romania, I think. Still fabricated. It's a, it's a sturdy bush twin. And here we come. I'm assuming that's the runway. but It's very, very, uh, very narrow. Okay, coming in right on the 65 knot dot over there. Transporter from dispatch. Take the VIP to the parking. Copy that. Let's take it to the parking. Hey, Slayer T. How you doing?
Oh, 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 oh. Please take control of the aircraft here. How's the Holland going? Holland's going pretty good, man. Uh, I had a couple of crashes of this airplane uh, last week or the week before, I forget now, but uh, but now I managed to get it again. Thankfully, it was insured. It was insured, thankfully, so I uh, I got the money back. I just have to find another place to buy it for the, for the same cheap price I had found it. I'm talking about, you know, in the sim, not IRL. <laughs> I get confused about that stuff sometimes, but uh, oh, look at that. What is that little prince? An Icon A5 out there. There's, a, there's my Spitfire with a bush on it over there. Go park it by the Spitfire. Is this the person who's waiting for me? I don't know. Man, I had my failures high and wrecked a CRJ 550 landing gear broke on takeoff. <laughs> I haven't done, uh, I haven't had a failure yet with the latest update. They, uh, one of the latest ones, they added failures, right? I haven't had a failure yet, but uh, I heard that they they're, they happen like in takeoff and landing, right, or in approaches. All right, let's put the parking brake and let these people out here. Transporter. Disembarkation in progress. Stand by. At 15. How, how is... Hey, Iceberg. Good morning. Way too high. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool that they model this stuff, isn't it? Museum was all right. Iceberg. Uh, you know, I went to the Frick and it's not where it usually is now. And apparently the Frick here in New York City, the, the actual... The, 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 the location, the, the building it's located of the original one is very... It's part of the whole, you know... Uh, it's part of the whole experience and now they're re refurbishing that so now it's in a different place so it was all right you know all right and congratulations and applause ladies and gentlemen i am now a captain i don't know what that means if i get to wear a different like insignia or something but uh, fantastic but i had a nice time because uh, the main thing really is to you know see friends i uh, saw a couple of friends i've seen in a long time i used to work with Dante, good morning, how are you? How's Torino? So it was nice, and then afterwards we had a piece of pizza, a slice of pizza in Central Park. Uh, look at that Spitfire, it's like in a bush over there. It's like camouflage, so the, the, the HE-111s can't find it, you know. And uh, so yeah, it was a nice day out. And uh, we saw an owl in Central Park. Like a, I took a photo of it, we can put it later on, I'll probably publish it later on Instagram. So that was really nice. Um, there's people out, uh, people are happy. And uh, New York City seems to be uh, getting back on, on track here. An Icon A5 and a Supermarine Spitfire camouflage here. And here's my BN2 Islander. Two of the planes I bought from Microsoft Simulator, this wonderful BN2 Islander. And um, the Spitfire, and there's another one, but it's not here right now. It's a Stearman PT-17 Stearman. Hydrate, thank you, thank you for the hydrate. Let me dehydrate first with a little coffee, and then I'll hydrate over water. You no, know, because coffee dehydrates you. And where should we go now? I dropped these people off, so I, I could. Uh, I could do a mission uh, here. Let's uh, let's do this. Let's go to display capture. We're currently our current position is uh, Echo Golf Oscar Mike. Whoa! Oh look, the Spitfire's taking off. Someone's taking off with the Spitfire. That's pretty cool. They're modeling the traffic here. Yeah, I think the Spit's probably hiding from HE-111s. <laughs> You know, they knew that I was going to play War Thunder later, so they're like, hey, better better hide the Spitfire. Look at that, it's, I've never seen an AI-controlled Spitfire. Taxiing a little bit low. It's, oh, it's a, it's, a, it's a clipped wing, too. Oh, it's going to try to shoot at me? Look at that, it's, it's, it's lining up here. It's lining up here. What, what the heck should I do? I swear, should I move? <laughs> Posture check, copy that.
He, he's, he's, t he's, he's lining up on me, Iceberg. What the heck's going on here? Look at that. Wait a minute, is this you, Iceberg? I bet, I bet this is, I bet, I bet, uh, I bet this is Iceberg over here. Let, let me get away. And let me turn on, uh, I bet, I, this can't be a, this can't be AI, right? Maybe I turned off the traffic nameplates, let's see. It is, they are off because I was taking screenshots the other day. Uh, I'm sure that this is Iceberg or someone. It's too close to me now for, for, for the name to show up, but... Uh, <laughs> you're on a, must be somewhere else then. Must be someone else here in this pit. Maybe it's Layer T? Hey! How you doing, uh, Sheep? A city in the sun on the Rhine River. Thanks so much. That's awesome, man. Oh, that sounds good. Here in New York, it's, uh, it's cloudy. Alright, let's take off. Let's uh, let's pick a mission. This pitfire will accompany us. Let's pick a mission over here. Alright, what should we do? Let's see, let's... What is this? Search zone for a crash. That's pretty close, and there's another one right here, wow. Okay, these are new. I haven't seen these before because I just got upgraded to captain. Okay, look at that pizza. We can deliver pizza. Illicit cargo mission. Should we try what an illicit cargo mission? Let's see what what does it say about that. Oh, five grand. Wow. There's a drop zone for ten thousand. That's too far. Let's do this. Uh Let's do a close one. Let's do this, because I've never done this one. Okay, sir. Intercept intercept intruder at last known position. This plane is not very fast, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to intercept with this one. So I'm not going to do that right now. I need a faster plane to intercept intruders. Let's do an illicit cargo mission. Let's go deliver some pizza. All right. Uh, let's see. Where is it? It's over here. Five grand. Okay, right click, uh, fly. Make sure I got Seagull, Brit, Norman Islander, BN2. And uh, I'm gonna go to uh, connect and fly. Current payload 1532. On Copy that dispatch 1532. I'm at 2080, so. Uh, Transporter, loading has started. Stand by. Put 200, 180, 1532, 172, 1532. We got it. Wow. I learned some math here too. But t the pizza have to be hot. Oh, really? Is there, is there a time limit? Okay. All pizza. Deadline 2120. Jeez. Let's go. Oh, that's a that's a plenty of time though. That's like uh tonight. Okay, hopefully I can make it. <laughs> Did you hear the guy's voice? It's like a, a super stoned out dude. I think. Copy that dispatch. This is uh, Hypertex Hero One. Uh, taxi into the runway. Over. Just be careful not to. Uh... Oh, before we taxi to to get the bonus, let's uh, make sure. Okay, the taxi light and the ending line light are on. Beacons on. I just didn't turn anything off. So we're good, uh, let's uh, make sure that, oh, I didn't even turn off the fuel pump, so that's okay. Fuel mixture is on, parking brake is off, and we're off. Be careful not to run over this person here. Stream video is freezing and only hear the voice. Uh, copy that. I'm going to. Um, yeah, maybe internet issue. Iceberg, sorry about that. I mean, blame. Uh, I don't know. Who's in charge of Twitch now? I don't think it's Jeff Bezos, right? Even though they bought it. Uh, flaps to takeoff position. And let's get to this really, it's fine for me as well. Thanks, uh, Tim. Thanks for being here. Thanks for all these cross checks. Oh, that's, look, look at this weird runway. It's so short. I think this is a helicopter base. 
It's an RAF helicopter base, I think, this thing. Alright. That Spitfire is still taxiing around. There was one taxiing around. I don't know if it's the same one. If it's a player or not. Okay. Okay, here you go. Lining up to the... To this very short runway. And let's go. Full power. And you, with this cargo mission, you just like, you just like basically, uh... Have a nice fly, and don't mess with this guy. Don't mess with this guy, oh, okay. Do I have to fly under radar for this thing? For this cargo mission? Like a street with a pathway, yep. Very short little runway. Okay, bearing 147 we want. So let's take a look here, uh, 147, I'm just gonna keep turning to the south here. And let's just try to, I don't know, I've never done these illicit cargo missions, so I'm just gonna stay low. I assume you stay under 500 feet or something, so that radar doesn't detect you and you don't get arrested by some air patrol. Flaps up. Landing light uh, off. Transporter, you are above the radar detection oh, altitude. Shit. Get off as quickly as possible. Get down, get down. Okay, so you have to fly low for this. That's interesting. Okay. All right. I was I was at what? Uh, not sure, but I'm just gonna stay low. I think it's 500 feet. I think this altitude here, no, it's in feet. Okay, so that's 100. I have to stay below 250 feet or something. Okay, off course. Let's turn uh, to starboard here. And uh, and look at this love, like this this wire here moves now. The latest update to the BN200 is really nice. The, the wire moves of gravity. I'm delivering Pizza, which uh, I think are basically a uh, magic pizza. They put some marijuana in it, so you know it'll make you laugh a lot. Or, or if it's CBD, mostly then it'll make you, uh, you know, focus and, and be pretty chilled out. Uh, I prefer the THC variety because I like laughing. But um, yeah, that's the illicit cargo pizza. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know if it's a, like a GTA that you can have like a cocaine lockup or a marijuana lockup or meth or whatever. I just pretend it's weed because, you know, that's uh, that's my uh, that's my prefer uh, uh, mind altering mind mind journey substance. I, I don't do the the uh, the man made ones. I like the the nat the natural ones. How far are we from this thing? Uh, it's 12, it's 12 nautical miles, it's pretty close, huh? Okay, we'll, we'll leave it, we'll, we'll leave it at 147. Piece of, uh, magic mushrooms would be great, yep. That's been a long time. Deadly Pac-Man 98 back there. <laughs> If you want to see a good video of Pac-Man, look up Rémi Gaillard, crazy French guy who does like YouTube videos of like bloopers and stuff like that. And once he dressed up like a Pac-Man and he went into a French supermarket with friends dressed up as the ghosts. And they just started running around the aisles, you know, knocking stuff over. <laughs> that is a classic video. I, I'll, I'll put it on stream later if you're not familiar with it. Okay, quite a bit of, uh, I have to like, uh, I don't. I don't know if this thing. I don't think this has. This, this must have aileron. Maybe it doesn't have aileron uh, trim. Maybe you just have to turn on the autopilot if you want aileron trim. The plane will get in the FBI and Interpol index if they detect it. And that, the, is that modeled in this iceberg? And then like you, you can't do other missions or something. Yeah, 
quite a bit of wind here. There she is, ladies and gentlemen, the BN2 Islander. A <laughs> joke, all right, yeah. Staying low here. Man, city on the sun with a beer by a river sounds nice. I don't know if you ever read this book by Herman Hess called uh, um, Narcissus and Goldman. And it's set in medieval times around uh, rivers in Germany and stuff like that. And they talk about another you know, fish and art and uh, someone, one of the guys, he two friends and one of them stays and becomes a monk and stays in the cloister and the in the uh, in the place to like you know learn about the scriptures and everything and the other one goes out into life and uh, you know meets a lot of women it's a lot of crazy adventures and it's a very interesting book been detected by radar the feds have just been notified this mission is a failure Oh my god, really? Because I was too high? I, w I was above, two th what, 2,500 feet? Damn. Okay, tr tricky this one. You have to fly. I like this, though. And again, and what happened here? What happened here? I'm going to look at the video. I think, is this a bug? Because I wasn't flying that fast, was I? By the gods. This is a joke, Iceberg. This airplane that, that breaks up in, when I'm not even... Uh, you just ha you have to pay attention to this airplane. I lost it again. Look at that. Crash. No, first, this was like to, to add insult to injury. To kick me while I'm down. Neil Fly told me I failed the mission. And af right after that, boom. Uh, the airplane. I lost the fourth time I lost being to Islander. Oh, you have to stay in the same height? Okay, interesting. <laughs> I want to get out of the sun. Yeah, too much sun. Yeah, that's... Uh... Jeez, this is the fourth time I lose a BN2 Islander. This upsets me. Um, let's see. Log... Uh... Success, fail, or crash. Let's see, finance, hangar. Oh, I still have the plane. Is it a bug? Did it, did it just... Uh... Maybe it's a bug in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Because it, sh it shows me as... I'm just going to put and... Uh... No, I don't have to have and mission. Let's see if I can still fly the, the BN2 Islander. Okay, Egon. Maybe the police have your plane now. <laughs> That's true. I, sh I read the manual, you know. I was reading it a little bit today, but you know, I don't usually read the manual. So maybe I should read the manual. Okay. Yeah, maybe they confiscate your plane and they like they give me maybe they give me a warning, you know. Well, in, I I don't I like to to push limits, so let's try another one. Let's try the, this the pizza delivery one. Let's see if we can do it with the BN2. I'm gonna go fly. I'm gonna connect and fly. Yep, so I, d I don't think it was a crash. I think it was uh, that the police got me. Oh, don't worry, Iceberg. I can read it later if you want. I, Wild Cray says, I heard it's a popular type of military and law enforcement. <laughs> It's true, and they even have like a variant of it. You can look at it over here. Or like uh, one of the libraries. And the interesting thing about this plane, it comes with a bunch of libraries, but the libraries, are, there's different models, 3D models too. So you can get this one, for example. The Air Force, the Maltese Air Force, has a big radar, ray dome in front. So this is more like, yeah, for, you know, watching out for drugs and stuff. But uh, I just flipped it around and I'm flying it to deliver magic pizza. Here in the, I think we're still northern in, the, in Scotland. 
Whoa, hard rain coming down in New York City and IRL in real life here. Okay, we need a 2080. We need 401. Let's just get that set up over here and let's try this again. Um, just uh, zero everything, including this. And uh, let's give ourselves uh, what? Uh, uh, 299? No. Whoa. What happened? I heard a little sound. Two, 401 pounds, I think that's about right. 401, okay, that's fine. Egom, I think. REF Spade Adam, Greenhead. And uh, let's start in the parking this time. Like conditions, live traffic, live players, like everything. Transporter form dispatch. Illicit mission this time. Wait on the parking until a weird guy come on board. Wait in the parking until a weird guy comes on board. Okay. Let's go read the manual. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's. Uh, Icebird has convinced me I should be reading the manual here. Let's do it. Here we are. VIP's uh, pizza. Is it really just pizza? Best not ask. You will be joined on board by a shifty looking character. You must fly, fly, fly below a thousand feet, a thousand feet to avoid detection for the whole mission. When you are above the drop zone, the pizza, the pizza, 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 pizza. will be dropped. You then need to make your way back to base without learning anyone. Ah, okay, so we have to go back and come back. Interesting, okay. All right, there you go. There you go. That's the manual. We got it, uh, Icebird. Let's get back to uh, the aircraft here. Let's see that we're ready to fly. Before we turn on the engine so we can get a little bit of a... Of a... Let's turn on the beacon light. I'm also going to turn on the Lanny already and the nav lights. Uh, okay. Well, this is interesting. Can make him pulse? We're well, probably not going to be able to see him at night here, but... Uh, all right. Let's turn on generators. And... Uh, take a look at the amateur. Things seem fine. Okay, now the battery. Then we're going to check uh, the amateur over there. There you go. We're in the green. Uh, avionics master switch on all right and now we're going to uh, port mags are activated starboard mags are activated usually I think you start the, the starboard engine first of this make sure the mixture is a full a little bit of uh, throttle power tanks are both front up to the front that's fine and uh, let's uh, turn on the auxiliary fuel pumps and uh, let's start her up starboard engine first I think what is the message in neofly oh didn't work I'm missing something here I think we're fine what is the message in neofly uh Which message? I'm not sure which one you're referring to. Dodgy Pizza Scotland made me think of fried Mars bars <laughs> topping. Yeah, here in the United States, apparently they have fried, uh, what's it called? Uh, fried, uh, okay, now it's stabilizing a bit. Fried Twinkies, oh, can you imagine? Okay, it's the RPM, I think, okay. There you go. All right, now let's go to uh, port. Transporter form dispatch. Loading cargo. Please stand by. Copy that dispatch. This is Hypertech 01. Uh, I'm going to try to stay below a thousand feet this time. I promise. Over. Laps of takeoff. Close that down.
Okay, all pizza on board. I stay to take care of them. Let's go. Uh, let's get pushed back a little bit because I'm gonna chop this guy's head off. I think Transporter. Anyways. Transporter from dispatch. The cargo is on board. You are clear to taxi to the runway and take off. Copy that. Dispatch, uh, taxi to runway 30. Let's just go and hopefully this guy will, will, will lower his head when we, when we move here. Lower your head, man. Watch, watch the wingtip. Oh! Ah! Oh. Okay, well. He's a pretty... He's a hard head, that airport worker. Don't eat any of that pizza. It's for the customers. <laughs> All right. All right, Zoom. So maybe after lunch, I might have to have a little gummy bear. I don't know, you know? Monday uh, afternoon bake, maybe. Wild Cray says, I probably enjoy greasing through valleys too much in missions like these. I'm gonna stay low this time. I'm just gonna get real. I'm gonna follow the fly path and I'm gonna stay low. Yeah, this, this plane is fly to fly, fun to fly low in. Alright, let's hold short here. And uh, let's tell the. Uh, we're at the take off for the part straight out. Okay. Alright, and let's take a look at Neopad and see what our bearing is gonna be. 266 is very close. It's only like six nautical miles away. Alright, so if I screw this one up, uh, it's all on me. Alright, 266 basically directly west. All right, let's go. Full power. We'll rotate at 64, 65 knots. Very quick. Have a nice fly and don't mess with this guy. Have a nice fly, don't mess with this guy and don't eat the pizza like Timmy Bird, uh, Timmy Bird, like Timmy Thumbs said. Flaps are up. Uh, let's keep an eye on our altitude there. A thousand feet, right? Above the ground, okay. I, I'm just gonna do it visually because I mean, you know, a thousand feet. Uh, I'm just gonna stay right on the treetops here. Trim her down a little bit because this plane, well, the trouble with this plane, too, that she likes to fly, okay. She, she, she likes to climb. The BN200 loves to climb, she, she wants to climb all the time, so you have to almost like trim the nose down a lot to keep her low and that's quite a picking up a lot of speed here look at that i'm over 150 knots let's let's ease up here on the throttle i don't know if i have a very strong tailwind right now or something but uh i'm on the yellow there back on 2004 uh flight simulator x i used to fly helicopters at nap of the earth Still building excitement for when proper rotary export comes to Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, Icebird here, Wild Crazy, he loves uh, the, the, that uh, sort of unofficial chopper, you know, the, the Airbus that you can fly. But I'm looking forward to, uh, I love flying choppers. I, uh, my first ever helicopter sim was probably, oh man, I don't remember, but what, one of the most memorable, maybe... I don't remember it was an Apache one or something, but one of the most memorable ones was Jane's Longbow 2 back in the late 90s. That was an amazing uh, bit of turbulence here, though. That was an amazing helicopter sim. And I love flying helicopters. I, I should try one on DCS, but what I'm really looking forward to in Microsoft Flight Simulator is uh, uh, ground effects, like uh, the dust, kicking up dust, both for airplanes and for helicopters, and wake for the airplanes that can land on water, because I'm missing that, you know, when you're flying low. Uh, I want to see like the dust. I want to see uh... And this reminds me I'm gonna show this video on stream a, a little bit later Of the Spitfire flying pretty low and what happens in the ground, you know when you fly that low And so that's what I'm missing right now. That's what uh, takes away a bit from experience flying low in this game is It's missing the dust that gets kicked up, which is particularly important for helicopters, right? So yeah, I'm looking forward to official support. I hope they add some graphical uh, some uh, some uh, graphical effects. 
here we are. We're 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 a speedy airplane today. A lot of. I'm so glad I didn't lose it though. I thought, I thought. Uh, I, I guess you, you got either shot down or your, your airplane got uh, confiscated immediately. But I thought I had crashed it. Maybe it was we a bug. I don't know. Zone. I dropped the pizza. Fly straight for 30 seconds. Copy that. Don't mess with me. Okay. Don't mess with me. Okay. <laughs> All right, man. You drop the pizza. I won't mess with you. Okay. He's throwing pizza with a little parachute out the window. Alright. 30 seconds straight on level, okay. Doing my best here. Pizza delivered. Rush to the base and stay low as long we are not safe. As long as we are not safe, okay. Let's go back to base. You should actually hear the unloading sound. Yep, I got the unloading sound. I have confirmation that the pizza has been received. Well done. You can land. You can land, okay. Well, let's just go back to base and land. That was a quick one. That's fun. Well, well, it shows the progression, you know, because I just made captains, which gave me, the, gave me this uh, illicit pizza donation after doing a bunch of other missions. And so now these pay more. And it can be short missions. And you have to return to the airfield where you took off. Copy that. Uh, we got Kirk Cam back to the south, but we're heading back to that uh, RAF, I assume, a helicopter base. Do I still? I still have to stay low. I think, right? Yeah, I still have to stay low. So let's uh, let's stay low here. We're almost at a thousand feet. Stay below that big number one there. That clock, that hour clock hand. Let's stay below the number one. Below a thousand feet. You know, I have people who like War Thunder and action games. I have people who like Microsoft Flight Simulator. You know, the civilian flight sims. Uh, I just that that uh there are friends of mine or they watch the stream i just like all anything that flies any any video game that has something that flies in it i i love i i mean you can you could like throw a have a video game about throwing a frisbee and i would probably like it okay i cannot find any hint or losing the plane when you get too high yeah that was that was weird because uh i i really thought it, it, the message it gave me was the stressed airframe and I was like again, you know, because the fourth time and I didn't feel like I was flying that fast Maybe I was but I'm so happy that if that was a bug and then I didn't lose the airplane I'm, I'm happy of that bug because I don't want to lose another BN2 Islander here and have to, to grind with the Cessna again And watch out for these trees. We're at treetop level here, ladies and gentlemen I think Raz Wasabi is gonna be doing this type of flying uh, in the in the Caribbean soon with like a, a real like a real a real IRL in real life flying you know he said he was gonna be flying like some low level missions for a while I don't know what it involves but uh, what it's about he said he can't say but uh, oh 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 stay low stay low I'm out almost a thousand feet there jeez. I mean, is this, do I have to, I think I have to set this maybe, maybe I have to do this because maybe I didn't set the altitude because that's above sea level. So I think, uh, I think I'm okay even if I go above a thousand there, as long as it's a thousand, it remain a thousand feet over ground, right? But I'm just going to, just to be safe, I'm just going to fly nap of the earth here. With such detailed world, it's a shame not to explore it up close. Agreed, uh, Wild Craze. I love Microsoft Flight Simulator detailed world. It just is an amazing achievement, this video game. Alright, let's turn left. Uh, let's uh, get in touch. Alright, I've spat him and I'll tell him we're coming in. Take off. Uh, I left my fuel pumps on. I mean, it's such a short flight, it's not a big deal. And here we are, we're right here. I might have to weird music right now, but uh, I'll just have to leave it. I'm in a little fast. 
But this thing slows down pretty fast. I mean, it's heavy, you know, it has these two big engines. I'm just gonna go in for it right now. Hard landing, but uh, I'll take it. What time is it? 10:54. Beautiful airplane. And let's taxi back over there, and let's uh, choose another mission. I'll fly one more here before I go to War Thunder. Or maybe I'll switch to War Thunder now if we have any predilections any preferences in the chat let me know if you want to see more bn2 islander if you want to see some uh, war thunder action i also have i2 Sturmovic. i have dcs but i have to switch my dcs from steam to their their store version because i want to try that new thing that you can you can fly for 14 days for free any airplane any map try it out and i want to get into an airplane there probably an f-16 and try it out but that's not in the steam version you can't do it it has to be uh, one of the other uh, one of the other uh, it has to be the, their own uh, with through their website all right we'll leave the airplane here for now let's take a look at some missions big rudder Pretty big ailerons, lots of uh, light authority here. You can see the suspension is modded. You see that? How that? Yeah, I'll do it again. The brake, that little suspension there. Very nice mod, flight modeling here. Very nice uh, air uh, hydraulics modeling here. My personal preference is civilian aviation. Something magical about not being shot at. <laughs> Sounds good, Wild Chris. Okay, well, you're you're the first uh, one to to say so. Let's just stick with being two Islander. Let's go to the. Let's go to. Uh, yeah, not getting shot at is good. I agree. <laughs> let's see. What have we got here? I have plenty of fuel in the airplane. I think. Let's just double check. A flying uh, no hangar. Yeah, we're, uh, this plane has a lot of fuel in it. All right, I'm going to search for more missions. And let's maybe do a... Uh, how much would this one pay? 6,000. Let's fly to the south somewhere. Maybe let's do... Uh, what is this one? Uh, this is to intercept an airplane. Intercept intruder. I wonder how fast these intruders fly. Because this plane is not very fast. So... Uh, I don't think this is a good one for this airplane. I think I'm just gonna deliver some, some more stuff. Maybe maybe we'll try a medic. How far is that? Uh, 48 miles. That's pretty far. Let's keep doing some. Let's do a chopper one with the BN2. That these are all always challenging. It, it says chopper because you know you have to land generally something that's not a airfield, but you can with a with a short landing and takeoff cable airplane like the BN2. You can do it. Let's go to the Eden Golf Club. How much will we get paid for that? 1,600, that's fine. Fly. Oh, I, I'm in a mission still? Oh, do I have to set the parking brake, I think. Stand by. Does that end the mission? 18 runways right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 18 holes of glove, right? All right, mission. Uh, where was it? Maybe this one here. What is this? Newcastleton Golf Club. Let's go to this one. That's uh, 12 nautical miles away. Right click and fly. I have the Seagull Britain Norman Islander over there. All right, Crimped 401, we need 510. So I'm just staying in the airplane. I'm not even getting out of the 3D world here. 
So uh, 401, we need a what? Transporter from dispatch. We have a VIP in Thury. It is important they are flown to their destination without delay. There you go. 510. Uh, copy that. Dispatch. Transporter from dispatch. Boarding VIP. I forgot to t turn the land up when I took off, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be fine. Not a huge bonus, I don't think. But we'll turn on the cabin hello, lights for the VIP. Yeah, the cabin lights, uh, so that's a cool thing. You have these little curtains. Look, you have the little curtains. You have the little the little air uh, vent, the little fan thing. But look at that, you have the little cabin light, and I can't turn them on, I think, uh, here. I think this works. The cabin light's on. Transporter. VIP hey, and they're on, board. okay. At night, it'll be more, visual, more visible, but I'll turn them off now. Okay, right, copy that. Dispatch, uh, I'm going to get ready for takeoff here. All right, I didn't, I did, forgot to take those off too, but we're at takeoff and uh, we... Hey, Joey! Pew, pew, good morning, Mr. Hero. Hi, hard things. Uh, I'm doing good, Joey. How's your Monday going? How's your week going? It's a good day here in New York City. It's a good day in... Uh, in this in the Scotland flight, we are gonna take a bearing of uh, well, it's gonna be roughly, I guess, about 300. Let's see, 310. Okay, it's a good practice. Let me let me hydrate here before we go. All right, 310. Let's go. Park and break. Uh, Is off. There's a phone ringing. I think it's Amber's. Wait, is it mine? No, it's not. I usually mute my phone for the stream anyway. All right. Unless I'm expecting a call from Frankie, or or you know, my my mom can call me if I'm on stream. Frankie, Joey, Timmy, hey, take it easy. It's Monday, but you know. Life's uh, life's long. You enjoy it. You have a long life. As Seneca, I think, said that if you know how to manage your life, it's a nice long life. All right, just full power. Yeah, I could never be a pilot where you have to, you know, do two million checklists in a big airport and. Uh... Transporter, fly safe. Copy that dispatch. Uh, good to good to talk to you. I'll be back. Almost weekend. <laughs> Morning is off to an okay start. Morning coffee was delayed 1.5 hours, so I'm a little edgy so far. <laughs> Damn. Oh, is that like tra caused by traffic or something? Or I don't know if you're commuting and stuff. I can't tell you. I. And I mean, I, I commuted by car once in my life uh, for about a year, a year and a half. Do like an hour and a half of traffic each way. And after that, I promised myself I'd never do that again. It got so, it was so stressful. Now I don't own a car. I mean, I don't mind so much commuting in public transport if I'm gonna commute because then I can, you know, read a book, do some, uh, do some, chill out but if I have to be driving every day that man I don't know how people can do that I mean sometimes you don't have a choice right so I appreciate that but it is stressful for me I don't mind commuting like in GTA online or something you know if you're gonna go do a mission because then you can do a shortcut do a jump if you hit another car you don't get into a bunch of uh, you don't hurt anyone you don't have like insurance troubles now I work from home, woke up late and had some phone calls to make for get on a morning routine. Oh, copy that, Joe. Jo that, that's... Oh, watch out. Watch that speed. I'm going pretty fast here. I have to watch the speed of this airplane. Yeah, I hear you, man. I Sometimes I, I have a bunch of stuff to do as well. and well, I used to more when I had a, a job. And, uh, but yeah, I like to have chill mornings. And sometimes when that's not possible, it gets me edgy and jumpy too.
turn off those pumps because you're technically, I mean, just to be, you know, pretend I'm flying the real airplane here, you shouldn't be using them other than for takeoff and landing. I'm a little afraid of flying this plane from outside view because of the of this speed thing. I was even thinking about turning off the damage, but then it kind of like, you know, when you, you, know, you smash into something and your plane just like bounces off, it's a little bit, uh, takes away from the, from the suspension of disbelief of that you're really, it makes me forget that, uh, it makes me remember that I'm flying a digital plane, not a real one. These video games, they're, they're so, they're photorealistic now, and you really feel like you're there with like track IR and stuff, it's really amazing, and the sounds. I usually spend, uh, spend a bit of time uh, pre-stream for setup to try to get the sound levels in a good point. I do a little recording, a little VS, and just balance the sound levels. I can't always do it, but I try to always do it to get a, a good balance, a good experience for the viewer here, uh, but I'm learning all the time and uh, but the engine in this thing is really loud in real life too. Uh, I would appreciate if uh, Microsoft would put a setting that you could re reduce the engine volume. Uh, you could adjust the, the engine volume uh, individually outside the airplane and inside the airplane because sometimes the outside is so loud and you have to turn the whole thing down but then the inside gets a little too low. Oh, we're almost there. All right, we're gonna deliver this uh, VIP here to play some golf. I love how this moves now. Transporter, VIP landing zone at three miles. Copy that, uh, dispatch. Uh, to find a place to to put her down and uh, let this VIP go have some rounds of golf here in Scotland after all right what was that famous famous Scottish golfer was like uh, Palmer or no I think that's Australian guy I don't know much about golf I just remember like uh, you know some names and stuff I think it was some famous probably a few famous Scottish golfers <laughs> Whoa, uh, and I think something happened over here. I think that means like someone is hosting me that sound, but for some reason the alert doesn't seem to be coming on. I don't know why. Maybe it just doesn't show for the host. Or maybe it's a Neofly thing. All right, there's the golf course. I think that's it. Uh, it flaps down to leave it at takeoff position just fly a little bit lower here and let's find a good spot to land I'll land right on the golf course right on the link right on the green there you know upset a bit of, uh, of the other golfers I could shock him you know he caught this VIP wants to come in he wants to make an entry you know he wants to to arrive uh, arrive in style here so he just like had a an airplane come and land on the golf course all right, well, it's right here, right below us. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, thanks so much, Joey. Thanks so much. Oh, so, so much for the comfort bonus. Thanks for the host. I will... Uh... I think I have you on my hosting list as well. But I appreciate it very much indeed. Okay, full flaps. I'm just going to put her in right there in the golf course. Auxiliary fuel pumps on both engines. Make a hole in one. <laughs> I got a prediction here from uh, from uh, from Iceberg. All right. And Joey, all right, 69 out 69, copy that, Joey. Thank you for the prediction. Trying to get back on the landing rate leaderboards here or increment your your speed, your uh, your score. I don't know if this is very good, but uh, 
I'm gonna go for it. Just gonna miss this tree barely. I'm gonna chop a bit of the tree off with my uh, with my propellers. Oh 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 oh. Hey, and Joey! An applause, ladies and gentlemen, for Joey Bolo getting a win here in the landing rate board. Look at those big flaps on this machine. Look at those things. Landing recorded negative four. Really? Was, was it that? This is an error in Microsoft VIP Flight 2020. You can take off. All right, here, let me, let me increment Joey Bolo's score. I'm going to increment Joey Bolo's score on the landing rate leaderboard. So, Joey, Joey Bolo, Bolo 77. Now uh, tied with uh, Grant Martin and Kerr WT. Two apiece. Let me uh, instruct my laptop to update the website. It's counting the. F this is the area Microsoft Flight Center 2020. It's counting the feet per minute from a leveled line of zero degree. Interesting. <laughs> he landed in the rough, usually thicker on Scottish links, so it's a bit forgiving. <laughs> when landing on upward slope, you go to plus. Yeah, it's a, I guess it's a, it's a bug or, or a, some error in Microsoft Flight Simulator, right? All right. And now I don't think I, I think the mission's over, right? Let's see the, let's see the log. Uh, oh, wait, I have to go back, I guess. All right, have a good one, Joey. Let's go back. Let's go back to the airfield. Um, all right, uh, flaps to takeoff. And uh, parking brake off. And I'm going to turn around and I think uh, go back the way I came. I don't know. This is going to be a little tricky because I think it'll be okay. It depends on the wind, really. I had a plus 400 in Papua New Guinea when landing there. Yeah, that's because it's impossible to have plus, right? So that's like a, an issue with the sim. I mean, I'm not really familiar with... Uh, I'm not an expert in that stuff. Oh, 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 oh. All right, let's take a look here. Let me set the parking brake. And, um, okay, parking brake is on. And let me take a look at the drone here because I want to see what the heck we're gonna. There's those two trees there, but we can, I, th I, I they're, they're like bushes and not like big trees. So our wings tips, if they clip them, I think it'll be okay. And I think there's actually, we might be able to even take off before we reach them, depending on the direction of the wind. It would be better to show the G's. I imagine it's the only the data, it's the only data the toolkit has to work with. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, maybe we should go ask, um, I, I, could, I, could put a, I, could, I could put a message in, a, in the Neofly, a question in the Neofly uh, Discord and see what they say. Or the Sim Toolkit Pro flight uh, Discord because uh, the the landing rate bot is Sim Toolkit Pro that I have running here. All right, here we go. Uh, full p full power. Parking brake off.
transporter. Fly safe. I think I barely missed that tree. A really fun plane to fly uh bush missions. I flew these in bush why well, I flew in these. No, I wasn't the pilot in bush missions in Brazil in the early 1980s in Goiás. Goiás and Bahia. Okay, what's the back azimuth of uh, 310? It's gonna be 130. A little bit off. Full power and then release the brakes. I did it already, no reaction. Oh, for you asked them in a Neofly? Yeah. Yeah, it goes a bit over my head, that stuff, but uh, it may be a limitation. Or it may be just the data they have to work from Microsoft Flight Simulator may not be uh, enough. What did I say? What, three... 130, okay. Back to the airfield. And next week, ladies and gentlemen, no streams for me. Maybe a short one if I can get it from a laptop, but uh, I'm off for a week. I'm going to go visit my friend in Seattle. It's been a long time since so I got on a trip. Uh, that's not to see and help family. It's always important, but friends are important too, and I'm going to go see my friend with Amber. I'm excited about that. Take a week break from the streaming. bird around a little bit getting a feel for these moving wires watch that speed watch that speed very stable airplane big wings it reminds me that the big wing on top reminds me a bit of the pby catalina another beautiful airplane a float plane and i have one of those in war thunder now maybe what would be popular is war thunder made a civilian flight sim but with the damage modeling that they have for their you know action shooty game Will someone attempt to cop? Will someone also do the whole world, model the whole world like Microsoft and Asobo Studio have done to bring in some competition here eventually? I think that would be nice. But, you know, not easy to do. You probably have to partner with Google or. I mean, this. I mean, they use, they have Bing maps, but they use the data for this is actually from I think uh, OpenStreetMap, if I remember right. Now let's let let's let her climb a little bit, and uh... there it is. There's the airfield we're going to. Landing inspector. Cool. Iceport always coming in here with some uh, very nice utilities. Lazy beast, UK. I'm lazy too. After this landing, I'm going to take a little break.
traffic hypertext hero 12 miles northwest 1800 feet inbound to land runway 12 oh i'm not overly concerned about smashing to the ground it's just what comes out of that landing game i'm gonna go to seattle iceberg uh, never been to seattle but i'm gonna go visit a childhood friend of mine with amber for a week from next monday for a week so no streaming next week uh take a little break vacation here thanks for the prediction port fuel pump on starboard fuel pump on flaps down to landing Wild Craze got negative 189. Copy that. Thank you for the prediction, Wild Craze. Wild Craze. I saw a guy yesterday when I in uh, in New York City, like in. Uh, Where's the Madison Avenue when we went to the to the Frick Madison race? So this guy, it was this kid and he had this t-shirt that said, <laughs> I paused my video game to be here. I paused my game to be here. <laughs> that was a pretty good t-shirt. But once I saw a guy that looked a little bit like, you know, he had a rough day and he had like just this face. I tried to get a photograph, but it was too. That this was back before pandemic when it was crowded in the subway. And he, and his shirt, it was like this big white shirt, this tall guy, and all this shirt said was, "I lost my password." <laughs> I love that. One. I'm going a little fast. A bit more rudder here, and now the other way. Transporter, almost. Done. All right, this wild craze. That was a pretty hard. That's almost on the money there. An applause, ladies and gentlemen, for Wild Chris getting on the leaderboard here on the manual leaderboard. I'm gonna update that right now. Let's just set the parking brake right here. VIP mission ended. Thanks for your efficiency. All right, I'll take a little break and I'll leave you with a view here of the BN2 Islander. Right there. Let's uh, let's turn the engine off. The easiest way to do it is just cut the fuel, I think. still work because we have the electrical systems on and maybe a little bit lower actually so we can see a little bit of the grass and if you want to get better pictures there's a very simple way for you to get a better photograph so just bend down like get on your knees or on your on your on your belly then your out your photographs will automatically get better because you'll you'll have like foreground stuff. In my opinion, of course, uh, there's uh, all sorts of different opinions about photography. All right, we'll leave her there. And get closer to your subject. That'll make your photographs even better. That's a Robert Coppa tip. Although Bruce Gildon, uh, you know, he loves it too, and he took it to the <laughs> to the limit. All right, let me up, let me put Wild Craze here on the on the landing rate leaderboard. About 15 to 20 knots wind. You can see that based on this, right? Based on uh, how full that is. It's awesome. I am not experienced enough to be able to do that. Okay, Wild Craze coming in here. Name starts with W, so you're going to be uh, the bottom there, but uh, 
We got more guesses. Uh, wild phrase. Not sure if this uh, kind person here streams too. Let's uh, double check. And if so, we'll give a follow. One sector is each sector is five knots. Okay, so that's five knots. That's ten knots. So it's, we're about a fifteen knots over here. So ten of five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty. The full thing you're like oh, twenty five or more. Huh? Interesting. Thanks. Uh, always. Oh wow, wild crazy. Yeah, I, I am a follower of wild crazy. So very kind uh, to be to be hosting me here. I'm going to host him back right now. Um, auto-hosted channels. Uh, wild craze. Is that is that correct? Nice. Metar say sixteen. Nice. That's correct, huh? Fantastic. Adding wild craze here to my auto-hosted host list, and uh, he should be. Let's see. Let's see if we can get a. Uh, the landing rate leaderboard to uh have a good one icebird thanks for dropping by man uh, i'm gonna take a little break and uh, i'll be back in a little bit a little bit and it, you know what in fact what is it 11 25 is there someone should we raid someone and i'll just take an early break for lunch and come back a little later I might I might do that let me take a break and then I'll decide I'll be right back I'll turn on this thing don't be lazy Simon don't be lazy hyper all right be right back
right. We're back. Back to Neofly, back to the BM2 Highlander, back to Monday. I mean, live to you from New York City. This is Hypertext Hero. Welcome to Hyperspace, this interconnected bunch of protocols. We have TCP IP, we have a HTTP, we have the World Wide Web built upon all this stuff, uh, which lets us interconnect uh, via video games, which is one of my favorite mediums of art. I like to consider these things uh, pieces of art. It's a combination of a lot of different types of art, you know, visual, sound, math, gameplay, writing, communication, uh, sculpture even. You know, these are 3D models are sculpted. They're, uh, the, the, it's like a sort of a digital sculpture we have over here. Isn't that crazy? Oh yeah, I had a good UDP joke once, but wasn't sure if anybody got it. <laughs> I mean, it goes over my head a lot of this stuff, but I appreciate very much the internet. I, you know, and uh, I, uh, I do my best to learn more about it here and there. Are you, are you, a, are you a, a programmer, Wild Craze, if I may ask? Well, I, I have to go check out your channel, your about page, and all that. Uh, but. Uh, yeah, I, I'm a huge fan. I used to, I, my name Hypertext Hero comes from, you know, my younger days when I was very idealistic about what the web was and where it could be. And unfortunately with JavaScript, uh, you know, it brought good stuff, but it brought a lot of bloat and a lot of uh, this walled gardens. And uh, I miss the simpler days of personal websites and stuff like that. Look at this cool counterweight here on the, on the, Aileron, so awesome. Oh, look at that. You can see you can see from the outside view. I never noticed that. You can see, if you look over here, you can see the yoke turning. Look at that. Isn't that cool? You can see the yoke turning over there. <laughs> UDP joke. I forget what UDP is, but I think it's something about... Uh, it's another protocol, right? Study computer science and focus on networking, but in the end, I ran computer repair business. Interesting. Wow. That's awesome. I have some computer scientist friends. I've always been interested in, but you know, I'm I'm more of a visual person, so it, the the more analytical side of things, I can get it. I can hack things and make them work together, but you know, the whole like algorithms and data structures, <laughs> I'm a little. It just goes a little bit. I'm just not so good at it, and I don't think I could ever be very good at it, so I leave it to the pros, even though I'm very interested in it. Beautiful model. I really like this airplane. It's a beautiful airplane. All right, let's, uh, let's take another mission. One more before lunch here. Yeah, we got we got we got some tech people here. Timmy Thumb is a, is a tech person. You know, I got a lot of people, a lot of knowledge here, which is one of the things I love about that I have loved about streaming. My favorite thing is being uh, meeting people through video games who are really smart and kind and uh, and teach me a lot. Yeah, working with your hands. Wow, that's you know, I. Uh, the older I get, the more I appreciate just doing stuff that uh, it's physical in the physical world, not just in the computer. Let's 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 go deliver something because we want. I want to move. Let's just go and deliver uh, this close by here to Carlisle Lake District Airport. Let's go deliver this uh, this thing here. Why? Connect and fly. Transporter from dispatch. It's a cargo mission today. When you check the payload and the flight plan, please release your parking brake to start. Copy that. Dispatch. Uh, what do I need? Three, three, two. Let's put it on the. Where's the baggage? It's, oh, here. That's where it is. I was getting confused. Where is all that? Three, three, two. I think. Oh, two hundred and twelve. Then. There you go. That's fine. Got plenty of fuel. 
Hey, Shifa, you're back. I left education after my bachelor degree while I still got to work with my hands. Yep. I, I, yeah, I, I mean, in this country, in the United States, education is so expensive. I got my bachelor's in England in the UK in Bournemouth University. Never did a master's because uh, I applied for a couple, but it was only only if like uh, you got like a grant, you know. What an MIT, but I didn't I didn't get in, so it wasn't accepted. They're like negative, we did not want you here. Not good enough. I'm not really surprised. All right, let's just uh, let's turn her on again. Oh, oh, the fuel cut off, of course. But I, I like technology. I just like to have a good balance. Transporter loading has started. Stand by. I mean, I love technology, but sometimes you know it's a bit of a love-hate relationship. And then South of Microsoft flight manager to win problems. By the way, copy. I'm gonna head south too, Shippa. After this mission, I'm gonna take a break for lunch, and I'm gonna head south. South in England or uh, or so south uh, of Europe. Transporter. Transporter from dispatch. The cargo is on board. You are clear to taxi to the runway and take off. Copy that. Dispatch. Uh, taxi to runway. And going to get ready for takeoff here. Little lake, little pond here. Go well, taxiing a little bit fast, watch out. I think there's a loser bonus. If you, if, you, if you taxi slow, you can. There's another bonus you can get. Oh, look, the, 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 the camera stayed here. I think I pressed the button that made the camera stay there so we could do maybe a, a flyby. Although I, I, I have so much trouble with that because you have to press C to take controls, you have to press a key to. Just take controls of the airplane on the outside view, and I often end up crashing when I'm trying to do all of that. I really miss the the one one key press flyby view, like F3, I think it was in Microsoft Flight Simulator. All right, uh, what's gonna be our bearing when we take off? Our bearing is going to be two three one. Copy that. Let's go. Okay, maybe I will do it. To, uh, I just want to make sure that that I have control of the airplane from the outside view. Okay. I don't. It's so weird. Now it's not giving me control of the airplane. Let's just stay from here. Let's go. I went down south. Okay, yeah. Yeah, the, the, the Cessna, with a lot of wind, it can be really tricky to take off, especially with a tailwind. Uh, I mean, you shouldn't ever take, you shouldn't really dispatch. take off with a tailwind, but sometimes you have no choice, right? You land somewhere that you're dropping off a doctor and uh, there's not like a space. Alright, let's turn that off. Fuel pumps off. And I think I had set 231, so let's go to 231 here. Lenny for missions and stuff, yeah. With the wind, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Do you want to go fly somewhere together, Sheepa? I mean, what part of the world do you want to fly? I wonder, I have some money now. I, I could pay for them to fly my BN2 or even my Cessna to do a mission with you anywhere in the world if you like. It's the cool thing of NeoFly. You can just, uh, if you get tired of an area and you don't want to fly to another area, you can just, you have the money, you can pay it for a little, to a, airline ticket to fly your pilot there and then pay for someone to take your plane there too all right two three one uh it's a 10 nautical miles not too far a bit of turbulence here okay let me do this 
there. I think that helps. All right. Fix the drone view, I think. You have around 200k at the moment. I might end up near Egypt at some point. I think I'm going in that direction. All right, copy that. I can, I can, I can meet you there. That sounds fun. We could go fly by the pyramids of Giza. I try to touch it when, early on in this game when I was started streaming. And I try to touch and go on the top of the pyramid of Giza and on the Sphinx. The Sphinx, the plane would go through it. The pyramid it worked. <laughs> I think it was of a cub. Oof, pyramids looks like a pyramid hitbox like a Rubik's Cube. <laughs> yeah, hit, hitbox would be tough to do with pyramids, huh? <laughs> I managed on the on the tip of one of the pit that the Great Pyramid of uh, the by the Sphinx there. I mean it hit the wheel, I almost tipped over, but since it's a I tipped over the airplane, but since it's a pyramid, it just went down, it didn't crash into anything, and then I picked up speed and pulled up again. It was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Keep an eye on the airspeed. Uh, I'm just gonna put my propeller down a little bit. I looked at the BN2 manual and it said it says like if to, for more comfort for the passengers, if you have the space to take off, you can you can put it down to like two six hundred, two five hundred on the propeller pitch. And it's less, it's it's less loud too. You know. We're getting loud here in New York. I don't know what what that thing is out there, but some uh, I guess sanitation vehicle passed by out here. I'm gonna keep an eye on that mountain over there. And I'm gonna keep aiming for that cloud over there. Hopefully that cloud doesn't move too far and that should get us to their destination. Hey, Prozac18, how you doing? Prozac. Happy uh, Monday, hope you're having a good Monday. Awesome afternoon, see you're uh, piloting a Cessna. I'm piloting a BN2 Islander right now. I do pilot the Cessna quite a bit. I really like the 152. Um, but right now I'm in an Islander. It's a, it's kind of like a Cessna, but it has two engines instead of one. Very stable, very nice, uh, very nice machine. Fun to fly. It can land in very sh short space can take off in very short space you only need like about 64 knots right there 65 knots a little blue mark there to take off Has some great big flaps out there slow you down is this it i'm already here i think let's check it out think of buying this game can you tell me if it simulates issues like engine loss burn collision uh this particular mod I'm using, which is a free mod, you can play it for free. It's uh, it's called a Neoflight. It does. It it just added bird collisions and uh, and uh, you know stuff hitting stuff on the runway and and stuff like that. And the the default Microsoft uh, the game I think it also models failures. I haven't actually tried them, and I haven't had a failure in this. But uh, but it, I know that it does have a. Uh, after I land here, I'll show you the. The thing okay let's see if there's a tower there is there's a place for like failure simulations settings nearest airport list uh, carlisle here we go tune carlisle tower there is a tower request full stop landing Uh, fly left traffic running 24 hypertext 01 make left downwind runway 24 hypertext 01 all right 
Have you checked your own house from the air? Everybody seems to do it. Yeah, for sure, I have. I've checked my mom's house. I've checked my house. I landed in Yoshipa's house, uh, who's uh, here in the chat. Uh, is that runway 2-4? Oh, there goes the comfort bonus. That's all right. Yeah, no, it's an amazing video game. And if you want, if you want your house to look exactly like it does in real life, you can, if, if you're okay with 3D modeling, you can put a 3D model of your house in the game. That's the cool thing about it being moddable, you know. I forgot to turn the, oh no, the pumps are off. Let's turn the pumps on. Auxiliary pumps on for both port and starboard. Riding. It's a great, it's a fun game. I mean, it's, you know, it's a, uh, Okay, that's zero six. What was it? Two four? They said. There it is. Two four. All right. Gonna have to land from the other direction. Clear to land uh, runway 24 Hypertext Hero 1. Clear to land runway 24 Hypertext Hero 1. Wait, did they want me to? I'm confused now. Did they want me to land here or on the other one? I remember when I played a few flights in CGA. Oh man, I know. What a time to be alive, isn't it? I, I think this is a golden age of flight sims. I played my first ever flight sim, like a proper flight sim, was a Falcon, for Falcon, the original Falcon from Spectrum Holobyte. That was CGA. To, that, that was like that was like a. Wait, does it want to run? Is that where the wind is coming from? Yeah, no, that's correct. My bad. All right, let's turn this way. Yeah, man. I I mean, it's come a long way, huh? It's like photorealistic. Uh, the flight models, the sounds. You have like so many good flight sims now. It really is a, a golden age. I I feel really happy and privileged to be living at a time where I can can you know have this track IR it's just not I haven't tr I've tried VR once at my friend's house playing elite but there's VR for these games I mean it's it's just crazy all my lights on I think uh, I never turned them off so let's just leave it on okay flaps to take off position to down off full down there they go uh, trim uh, the nose up tendency and here we go. And there isn't humans playing the tower operators. Yeah, that's VATSIM, right? I haven't tried a VATSIM server yet. I will eventually. Uh, it's just amazing. The only radio, the like live player radio chatter app I've tried is in this uh, flight simulator called Isla 2 Sturmovic, which is a World War II flight sim. And they have this thing called, uh, this, this mod that makes it like it simulates like real military radios and they, there's these guys that do friday night flights and then you turn that on there it's really immersive sounds really cool because there's no icons and stuff it's just like full real you know armchair aeroplane aficionados and uh it's pretty intense but i haven't played one for a while because it's a friday night and i'm usually like <laughs> after streaming during the day i'm usually like my energy level is low Maybe I should do one maybe this Friday before I stop streaming for a week. I'm gonna go travel. Have you dabbled in this? I have dabbled in this, yes, yeah, so and that's a that's a perfect word to describe what I've done this year. I've dabbled. I haven't bought any planes, but now I'm really interested in this new 14-day free trial of any plane. So I'm going to uh So I'm going to uh definitely be dabbling more soon. I love jets, you know, and with Top Gun 2 coming out, I'm gonna be excited and I want to. All right, negative 92, that's not bad. I'll take it. All right. I don't know where the parking is, I'm gonna turn off here. I like to play, but it sounds like a real job. Yeah, I know, man, it's uh, a lot of, I mean. Acknowledge that. Uh, ground service. 
Yeah, I, I, I like I these days, you know, I mean, my, I, I do have the time because my excuse is that I'm stream this stuff, you know, so I can put in the time to learn those planes, but it's a lot of stuff, all those clickable cockpits and those jets and stuff, so it's, uh, hey, where's my, oh, standby, taxi to parking. So I'm gonna pick one of those planes, either the F-16 or the F-18, probably. I'm just gonna go park over there somewhere, I don't know where exactly, uh, I'm, I'm not looking at this, this signs here, but, uh... Oops, sorry about that. It's probably that way. But I'm just gonna go right here. I'm not gonna cross the run. Well, he did say cross the runway, so it's fine. But yeah, I, I I like the details. Sims, I love those super detailed ones. But my favorite thing is the flying. You know, so if it, if I'm gonna, I'm not gonna take like I'm not gonna fly a CRJ and spend an hour with a checklist. You know, that's that's not. And that's why I like the bush planes in Microsoft Flight Simulator. The, the small planes. General aviation is you know my first love really. If I'm gonna fly something really complicated, I want to be able to shoot at something and blow something up. So uh, DCS probably will scratch that uh, that itch on my on my video game back. And um, as I get older too, you know, I I enjoy all the really the technical clicking and stuff and and checklists. But I the flying is my favorite. So. Sometimes, you know, I, I like to just go in arcade mode in, uh, in, uh, in War Thunder and just fly around for a bit. My passion is the airplanes. I will... I saw someone play with a Spitfire thing. You can go with the classic. Yep, uh, there's a Spitfire right here. I have it. It's a beautiful airplane. One of my favorite airplanes ever. So I bought it for this. As you can see, it's right there, one of them. And, um... And I just unlocked one in War Thunder recently, a Mark One. So I'm gonna be flying that after lunch, I think. All right, a very brave uh, Jordi LaForge's sister here. Very brave, uh, staying in front. Okay, and stop. All right, parking brake. Transporter, cargo unloading in progress. Stand Auxiliary by. fuel Pilot. pumps are off. Sure thing, I have a saying, beware when games become jobs. That's that's exactly my feel, my friend. Yeah. It's supposed to be fun, not a job, right? Transporter from dispatch. Fantastic. Seems okay. The customer looks happy. Mission ended. Fantastic. The mission is ended. If we have uh, any suggestions to for a raid, now's the time to say it because I'm gonna take a break for lunch here. I'll be back at two uh, at two p.m. ET here, in New York City time. Let's turn off the engines on this beauty over here. Two beauties side by side here: Supermarine Spitfire Mark One X by Flying Iron Simulations and a BN2 Islander by Black Box Simulations here. Two wonderful airplanes. I just the airplane, the Spitfire happening to happen to be parked there. Uh, all right, let's cut the fuel. Those lovely light combing engines coming, turning off, and uh, let's uh, turn off the mags. And uh, turn off the fuel valves. I forget if I if I do this uh, all right or not. But uh, everything off here. I have lights off, off electrics, avionics. Thanks so much, Prozac. You got a joystick? Any any hard anything hardware you use? Uh, yeah, I I played for a long time with a T Flight Hotus X. And uh, it's like, used to, it cost $45 when I bought it, you know, but uh, here, I'll keep the camera on since I'm talking a bit. 
I it cost $45. That was before the pandemic. I played a long time with that. I recently invested in a VKB Gladiator next. And it's a it's an awesome uh, stick. I love this stick. I haven't written a review about it yet. I will eventually. It's this thing here. It's a wonderful, wonderful the, the fuel of the way it, it moves is really nice. It has a twist, so I'm using that for rudder now. I can't afford rudder pedals right now, and I don't have a a throttle right now but this also comes with uh, this little throttle right here and a couple of rotary dials so you can put like a fuel mixture or propeller pitch lots of uh, hat switches uh, uh, wonderful stick warmly recommend I think it costs about 150 120 bucks or 150 if you want it comes with a heavy uh, a pretty heavy uh, base as well so it doesn't move around all over the place so I, I'm very happy with the stick I may get a mongoose um, a mongoose uh, throttle at some point, but I can't afford it right now. So, uh, yeah, here's the credits. Uh, and I like to let's leave it here of the beautiful planet Earth. That's where we're flying. Always good to remember that we live on this planet. To take care, better care of it. I need one of these, need to invest. Thank you for the stream. Keep it up. Thanks so much, Prozac18. I appreciate it very much your, your, your being here. Let's see who's out there. Let's let's go raid someone. Let's see who's uh, who's flying. Uh, and maybe doesn't have loads of people watching. Let's share a bit of the love here. Generally go for our general aviation uh, people, but uh, you can go anything. Here we go. We got a chillin' six. Here you go. There's someone. Uh, in an airplane there let's go raid uh this person here uh well let me let me check out if they're actually live or not first because sometimes you go to someone and, and they're not live okay there you go raid uh six vg hosty i think is that correct i think so time for me to eat something i think have a grand afternoon Thanks so much for being here, Wild Craze. It's been a pleasure. Everyone else too, Sheepa, uh, you know, Timmy, Icebird, you know, and the, the usual suspects and the new people as well. Thanks so much for coming by. And uh, rating now, I'll see you later.